Now, I happen to know that these are red maple buds just because I've been doing this for a pretty long time. But you may be asking yourself, but Mr. T, we want to go and explore our own backyard and figure out some of the mysteries that we have. So here's one of the most wonderful tools that modern technology has afforded us. Uh, it's called the iNaturalist app. And with the iNaturalist app, you can actually take a picture of what you found, like so. Get real close so that it takes up the whole screen. Make sure it's nice and focused or clear, not fuzzy. That's a good one right there. And then what we'll do is we'll hit next. When we hit next, it's going to bring up this screen right here. We're going to ask it, what did you see? View suggestions. So we'll ask iNaturalist what it thinks we saw. And it's going to come up with a bunch of suggestions. One of those two suggestions at the top right there is red maple. Acer rubrum. Now the other one is silver maple. So you can actually go to the eye on this side where it has information about these and compare the pictures so that you yourself can try to make your best guess. The great thing about this is I'm going to put red maple on there because I do know what it is. It's got where we found it, what's most likely to be around here. It's got the time. So we're cataloging all this information. And the great thing is, is that when I post it, I hit save it will get uploaded to the database, to the sort of the network, the social network that is iNaturalist. Other naturalists and other experts are gonna go on there and either confirm my identification and tell me I'm right, or they'll correct it for me. And once two or more people agree on an identification on what was found, it becomes what they call research grade. And it automatically gets uploaded to the Global Biodiversity Database to be used by scientists and conservationists around the world for protecting this beauty out here. So go out in your backyard and help scientists and have fun doing it. Now, the other great thing is there's another app specifically by iNaturalist for the kids. It's called Seek. It's safe because it doesn't gather any of your personal information or anything like that uh, to do with laws about kids on the internet and things of that nature. And the really great thing about this is, is that the Seek app actually allows you to just look at things and with AR technology, it will take what it sees and give you an instant identification of what you're seeing. In this case, it's having a little bit of trouble with it, but it, know it's from the, it knows it's from the plant class dicots. So it's gonna narrow it down the more information that it gets. You kind of move it around. The great thing about Seek, besides the fact that it gives you instant identification of what you're seeing, I did it with the uh, family dog today. It was really funny, uh, it said domestic dog, is you can also take challenges. There's all kinds of challenges that you can get involved with and you can earn badges and you can level up and really makes this outdoor exploration thing even more fun than it already is. So get involved, get out, let us know what you found in your backyard.